Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, I'm bringing you another skincare reaction video. This is where we look at a celebrity's skincare routine. We tear it apart. We look at the pros, we look at the cons, we look at the things we can take for our own skincare and some of the, learn from some of the mistakes they might make. Also, hopefully it'll introduce us to some new products and and we can just judge how and how they apply their skincare and anything that we should be doing differently with our own routine. Usually these come as part of Harper's Bazaar's Go To Bed With Me skincare series, which I love. If you haven't checked it out already, do, because it's a fantastic viral web series, it's great. And today we are looking at Rihanna's nighttime skincare routine. We do these videos slightly different on this channel. You've probably seen them online before where someone sits here, they've got the image of, they're playing the video of the celebrity doing their skincare there, and they stop, start, play, pause, and talk through it, step by step. We don't do that on this channel, two reasons. Number one, because I can't edit and I would have no idea how to make that work. It'd be jumpy, it'd be sketchy, it'd be awful. So that's the main reason. I also think sometimes having the person there and talking almost to them makes it very personal and you're targeting your comments at the person themselves. We like to take that out of it. Let's just talk about the products, the skincare, which is really what we're all here for. Let's break it down, talk about the skincare and kind of leave the person out of it. And today we are talking about Rihanna's nighttime skincare routine. I love Rihanna. Just get that out of the way. I love Rihanna. I think when she created Fenty Beauty, which is probably one of the big, world's biggest selling beauty lines, literally world domination in about four years since she launched that. Gorgeous, inclusive, beautiful formulations and really, really impressive makeup. She's recently launched Fenty Skin, which is her new skincare line. Again, I reviewed it um, and yeah, a really, really good skincare line with a lot of thought gone into it. Obviously, she's got her music career, which is what started it all. And she has gorgeous, gorgeous snatched skin. So I cannot wait to see what she uses and what she can recommend. It'd be really interesting as well to see how she blends her Fenty skincare line, which only has three ingredient, um, three products currently within it with other, ingredient, uh, with other products and other brands to make her nighttime skincare routine. So we'll get into that as we go along the video. Enough waffle. Let's get straight into it. So Rihanna starts her skincare routine with, well, the way that any of us would with the cleansing step. And for her, unsurprisingly, she reaches for the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. The cleanser is spelt without the E and an apostrophe instead. Not sure why, but I'll leave an image of it here. So this product she raves about and says she formulated to be gentle on the skin. It will remove all of the dirt, debris and makeup in one go. So no need to double cleanse, but it won't strip the skin and leave it dry. And as she said, when you use some cleansers, you feel frayed after you've washed it off to fray to actually smile in case your skin cracks it's that dry and she wanted to avoid that in this product she's removed the parabens from it so a lot of people in this a lot of people new to skincare read up online they see parabens and stories about how bad they are and want to avoid them in their skincare so I th it's nice that she's removed um, the parabens from the product to make it more accessible to more people um, as a product it's cruelty free it's vegan it's gluten free and I think all of those things kind of play into what a lot of people are looking for in skincare at the moment so it's certainly not a lazy formulation by any stretch. What do I think of it? Well, first of all, wow, is this product fragranced? And I mean like oh, to the hilt fragranced. It is a very, it's a bit of tropical scent, fruity and tropical. I like a fragrance in a cleanser. I think it's a great place to have fragrance if you want to have it in your skincare routine because you're putting it on your skin, maybe for a minute, you're washing it off. So it's not going to create any sensitivity or irritation or it's less likely to. So I think if you like fragrance in your skincare, I think cleanser is a really good place to have it. But this is really fragrance. So you have to like the fragrance and you have to be committed to fragrance in skincare to actually get the benefits of that. It is a synthetic fragrance. Um, again, not all synthetic fragrances are bad, but you know, it is something that some people might want to avoid. It has a lot of um, what I call plant-based cleansers and more gentle cleansers. So they haven't gone for the sodium lauryl sulfate approach. It's gone for more gentle coconut derived cleansers. That's fantastic because it doesn't strip the skin in the same way. But some people, particularly those that are very breakout prone or have an active breakout, breakout ongoing, might find exacerbates that it can be slightly clogging to the skin. So that's just something to be aware of if you're thinking of buying this product. I think Rihanna's really nailed this with the packaging. It's got a twist cap 
snap so you can dispense what you want and turn it back so it's none of that you know when the lid you turn the lid off it and then it snaps off or you lose it after like two weeks and then it all dries out and all this so it's really innovative packaging which I like it looks gorgeous and I think it's one of those things that will look really nice on your vanity not that that should be the reason you buy a product but it will look really nice and I think that's nice and it's got fig and green tea in there which are really good antioxidants the jury's out on whether a product that sits on your skin for a minute actually is it long on there long enough to have an antioxidant benefit but i think it's nice to have them in there and i think it's certainly a thought thoughtful and well put together formulation which i really like it's creamy it's foaming but it's not too lathery which is when you start getting the skin stripping which is really nice I would say definitely avoid this if you have dry skin and um, because still it will still have these cleansing agents they might be gentle but they'll still dry the skin slightly so definitely if you're dry skin avoid this if you are having an active breakout i would also avoid this just because i think coconut derivatives can be a little bit can just exacerbate that and potentially make it worse so i would avoid that but for everybody else i think this is a fantastic fantastic cleanser particularly if you don't mind that tropical scent I don't think this is going to do it. So Rihanna looks gorgeous in the video. She's got what I class as light to medium makeup on. She's got a bit of foundation, a bit of concealer, some eye um, makeup on, but nothing too heavy. And it does remove it in the video in one go like that. So it's really nice to see Fenty skin in action used by the person who's created it, how it's supposed to be used. So I think that's a really nice, which is why I was super interested in this video. It definitely got off all that light to medium makeup. I don't think this will be enough to get off. I don't think any gel cleanser is enough to get off a full heavy, you know, evening look or a drag look. This this isn't going to cut it. So I would recommend a you do a balm cleanse and then you use this as your second step cleanse. If you're interested in a balm cleanser that I, I would recommend, I'd go for the Inkey List Oat Cleansing Balm. That's my go-to. I love this product. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's been out of stock for like what seems like years, but it is now back in stock. So I've put a link below if you do want to check that out because it's in stock and I would grab it now because it literally flies off the shelf because everybody loves it that's tried it, me included. I bagged myself like three bottles of it the other day because I hate it when I run out. That's a beautiful, beautiful oil-based cleanser. It's got oat in there, so it's calming and anti-inflammatory and it washes off completely. So it won't clog the skin or leave you feeling like you're wearing a mask. So I, I love that. If also you want fragrance in your skincare but you want natural fragrance I always caution so you can still have a reaction to natural fragrance but if you want to take the synthetic out there and you want a more natural slightly gentle in terms of the scent and less overpowering scent to your cleanser I'd recommend the fresh soy face cleanser I love this product. I've used it loads and it is, it has a fragrance. It's lighter than the Fenty skin and it's natural. Um, I really like this product. I think oats are fantastic for taking down inflammation. It hydrates the skin. It's, it has all the pop benefits of the Fenty. So it's not stripping. It won't leave you feeling tight and like your skin's going to crack, but it's just more gentle on the clean, um, on the fragrance. So it might be something that you could swap this out for. Again, I'll leave a link below if you're interested in finding out a bit more about that product. Check the link below. Now, before we move on to the next step, I do want to just call out Rihanna as one of my personal heroes. She did not reach for the makeup wipes. If you've ever seen this series, every skincare routine starts with a scabby old makeup wipe or maybe like 10 or 12 makeup wipes because they just don't work and people are smearing and smearing and smearing and they're constantly using and you see all of these grotty makeup wipes. Rihanna says she hates makeup wipes and she'll never use them in Fenty Skin, which hallelujah, because people do like makeup wipes and so often companies put them in there to make that extra coin without actually thinking of whether they're good for the skin they're not they're packed full of preservatives they're not very effective at cleansing and so you end up rubbing and rubbing and rubbing which can be quite irritating for the skin and just think of all that waste that ends up in the toilet in the bin in landfill terrible for the environment awful product and Rihanna caused all that out in this video which is why she's my new personal hero on this channel I never tell people what to do with their skin skincare is personal you do you I can advise I can give hints tips product recommendations i don't like to tell except where it comes to um, makeup wipes face wipes cleansing wipes whatever you want to call them they are just terrible they're awful for the environment they're terrible for your skin and they don't work so i'm really glad that rihanna has taken that on board you'll never see it in fenty skin which makes me love it that bit more and she's given us some really powerful cleansing options that don't require you to use a makeup wipe your cleanser should remove your makeup you shouldn't have to use a makeup remover followed by a cleanser just as like a general skincare rule of thumb then she moves seamlessly on to the toning step she uses her fat water which is a toner serum toner serums are like everywhere at the moment. This is where you combine the benefits of toner with the active ingredients of a serum in one. So it's like a 
thick water rather than it being a really like liquid toner or a really thick serum it's somewhere in between it's kind of like the skincare craze of 2020 and Rihanna is early on that bandwagon with her Fenty Skin Fat Water it's like a viscous it goes on like a hyaluronic acid. It's that sort of consistency, really nice. She says she created this because she wanted to have like a multi multifunctional product and she really liked this as, a, as an idea. Again, packaging is really, really good. Um, she calls it out to say it's hydrating. It minimizes her pores and she wants smaller pores because the larger, our pores do large, enlarge as we get older. So she associates smaller pores with youthful looking skin. She says she's 32. I can't believe she's 32. She looks bright for 32, but she's been around years and years and years. So I just always assumed older, but her skin looks gorgeous and practically pore free. So she talks about how amazing this is and she formulated it to deliver that pore refinement that we all crave and to add some hydration into the skin. What do I think of this? I actually really like this product. Now, don't get me wrong, I think there are other toners that you could use. I think there's other serums out there, but I think it's a really well formulated and well put together product. The, again, it's capturing that market for really popular toner serums at the moment. A huge craze online, and there's some really good ones and some really bad ones. This is definitely in the good category. Um, it has the number one benefit is you don't need to apply it with a cotton round. Rihanna applied it with her fingers, which is great. I think we're like preconditioned to always use a cotton round with all of our skincare. They're again really bad for the environment, so I try to cut down where I can. And I think Rihanna just saying pop it on your skin. It's viscous enough that you can put it on your hand and then massage it in with your hands, which is fantastic. Saving those cotton rounds, saving the environment, all about that. I really really like that. Again, she calls out that some of the packaging is from recycled plastics, so really on board with that. My, what do I think of this toner? I think there's a couple of things you should consider before you buy it. One of the highest up ingredients is witch hazel. I actually quite like witch hazel. I, for my skin, it's very calming. I think it does help to constrict the pores a little bit to reduce them in size, and it helps balance out some of the oil in my skin. If you are dry skinned or sensitive, it can be a bit triggering. So again, I don't know that this is the right product for someone who is dry or sensitive, but you want to bear that in mind. And um, it's got niacinamide in there, which I think is the core ingredient. When she calls about pore refining and pore minimizing, I think she means the niacinamide, which will, over time, have a marginal improvement in the size and the visibility of your pores. Um, so it's a fantastic active ingredient. Again, she's kept it paraben free, which is really good. That's really in demand at the moment in skincare. So she's really playing into what's popular at the moment, which is fantastic. And she's got that fig in there again. So the antioxidants. I think the fig's more powerful in this product because you're leaving it on than in the cleanser way, potentially you're washing it off. But again, thinking about those antioxidants, I think is really nice. Um, it's got glycerin in there, which is gonna help to hydrate the skin. And overall, it's a nice product. I think, the Witch Hazel will put some people off. I personally, it doesn't put me off and I wouldn't say it should put you off unless you're dry or sensitive. It goes on really nice as a product. I like the thickness of it. I like how it's toner and serum in one. I think all of that's fantastic. The packaging looks gorgeous and it's the least fragranced of the three products in the Fenty Skin line. So if you're not a huge fan of fragrance, you don't have to worry with this particular product. And I think it's a really good alternative. Am I gonna continue to use it? No, I, for me, I want a bit more than that. This is a great product if you have nothing wrong with your skin. If maybe you, you just have normal, maybe a little combination skin, this is fantastic. It'll hydrate. It will, over time, reduce the size of your pores fractionally. And it's a gorgeous product to put in your skincare routine. If, like me, you're breakout prone, you need more than that in your serums. If you um, have dry skin, this is going to be for you. So for everyone in the middle, this is a fantastic, fantastic option. I personally am going to keep using my own serums. I like to mix and match. So I'll use a standalone niacinamide, a standalone hyaluronic acid, add vitamin C if it's in the morning. And I'll, I'll continue to do that approach rather than this. But it's an absolutely fantastic product. Then we kind of stop. We just go straight on to moisturizer. So I was a bit surprised. Uh, we'll come on to what I think is missing from this routine. Um, and she goes on to moisturizer um, straight at the end, which shocked me a bit, but she goes to the Hydrovisor SPF moisturizer, which is again from the Fenty Skin skincare line. I was a bit surprised. I thought this was an evening skincare routine and we would be mixing in some other brands where, you know, she's only got three products in Fenty Skin, which again is fine because I'd rather you do three products well than come out with a whole suite of products that are all done mediocre. Um, so I, I actually think that's fine. But I thought she the gaps she would address with other products. She hasn't. We've moved straight on to, um, I, we've moved straight on to moisturizer. And I'll talk later about what I think is missing. Um, so the Hydrovisor SPF. 
this is a fantastic product. I Honestly, I can't sing Rihanna's praises enough for coming out with an SPF at the start. I don't understand skincare brands that launch without an SPF. There is no point doing skincare if you don't have an SPF in your routine because you're getting all that sun damage and then anything you're doing is just to correct that. Stop it in the first place save yourself a lot of bother. So I love the fact she's done that and I think it's fantastic. It, this product gives you zero white cast. I tried it on me, admittedly, I mean, you can see where, actually that's not great. <laughs> you can see clearly where I go in the sun and where I don't. I am white, white Casper the ghost. And so this was never gonna leave a white cast on me. I have seen it used on other influencers who have darker skin tones and richer skin tones. And absolutely, it leaves no white cast. I expected this. Rihanna, she's all about inclusivity. She, you know, she knows as, you know, with her rich skin tone, she knows how ashy and white cast certain SPFs and poorly formulated ones can come off on darker skin complexions. So absolutely, this was always going to be a win-win-win and it is. I love this product. It is reef safe, which is fantastic. She talks about her own like heritage coming from the Caribbean islands where there are coral reefs and how damaging certain ingredients in skincare can be. She's taken those out. So it's a reef safe SPF, which is fantastic. It's chemical which a lot of people were surprised about I wasn't if you're going to use a mineral SPF titanium uh, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide are both really white pigments they're the two main uh, minerals that are found in SPFs and so it's really really difficult to make them non-ashy and applicable to everybody so I think a lot of darker skin people tend to go chemical in their sunscreens because it's easier to find one that doesn't leave that white cast and that ashiness on the skin so I'm not surprised at all and I'm not anti-chemical sunscreens I leave it up to the individual you choose which you want to use I think if you have a darker skin you're more likely to gravitate to a chemical sunscreen because it's easier to find one that won't leave you ashy and white cast I love this, it soaks in really well, it does hydrate, it's a moisturizer and an SPF, so it does leave you really gorgeously hydrated. It's got fragrance in again. Is that a problem? I'll leave that up to you. This is a leave-in product, so I think it's more problematic than the cleanser, And um, but it's also got hyaluronic acid and aloe in there, so it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, like silky moisturizer, and it'll protect your skin from the sun with a really powerful um, sun protectors in there. So I love it, it's well formulated, it's really well thought through. I'm not sure why she's planning it at night. Um, I don't sleep in SPF. I mean, I'm literally, I'm an SPF to my core. I love, love, love SPFs and protecting my skin from the sun. Not at night, you've got the curtains drawn. Why, why are you sleeping in this? I guess she just wants to get in there and show this product, but no, you don't sleep in this. And I think maybe this is the problem with having a two-in-one moisturizer and SPF. You can only use it in the morning. Chemical, chemicals in SPF aren't bad. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people say they want to avoid them. And there are some studies, which I'll leave you to make your own mind up on, which can show they can have a negative effect on the body. I don't think they're that bad. I think it's far safer to wear sunscreen with chemical SPF in than not wear it at all, if that's the alternative. But I'm wearing it at night. Why, why are you putting chemicals on your skin at night when there's no benefit? Very bizarre, but maybe she just wanted to show it to the world. So I'm not gonna judge her too much. Um, it's not. It's got oils in here, which is why it has like a creamy consistency. But she's also added mattifying elements in, so it won't leave you greasy and like an oil slick. So that's great for someone like me who has oily skin. But equally, it's great for someone with dry skin because it'll hydrate. So I think this is applicable to basically any skin type, which I love. I just I'm not sure why she's applying in the evening. So who knows? If I would probably recommend actually you just get two separate an SPF and a moisturizer. I think that way you can apply both in the morning and just the moisturizer in the evening. It gives you that flexibility without buying two products with both in. Um, my recommendations, if if you want my recommendations, I would go for, for moisturizer. I always use the natural moisturizing factors with hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. Cheap, cheerful, surface hydrator, does what you want it to do, won't clog your pores, and it doesn't cost you anything. It's like five pounds, under $10, it's amazing. I'll leave a link below if you want to check it out and have a look and see um, about the ingredients and the price point and everything. But it's a beautiful, beautiful product. Um, if you are looking for something a little bit more, I'm going to say a little bit more occlusive and thicker, particularly in the evening if you are dry skinned, then the Inculus Turmeric Cream is oh, to die for. Not suitable for my skin type, it's too thick. It's also got coconut oil in there, which I just find too thick for my skin. But if you're struggling to retain hydration in your skin, the turmeric cream by the Inculist is absolutely gorgeous. As with a lot of Inculist products, it was sold out for ages. Um, so I'll leave a link below where you can actually buy it. And I checked before I came on here, you can buy it, so check that below. But it's a beautiful, beautiful product. I honestly can't sing it's praised enough for people with dry skin. The turmeric will also help brighten the skin a little bit. And it's 
it's anti-inflammatory. So if you've got sensitivity, this could be your go-to product. I absolutely love it. Um, and I think I would probably just, yeah, recommend those as moisturizers and then choose your favorite SPF. I would, I like, I like the Unseen Sunscreen by Goop. I think that's really, really nice. It literally, same as this, completely, completely um, color free. So it can apply to all skin tones, which is really nice. It's completely invisible, which is almost unheard of as skincare. And again, is a chemical sunscreen. If you want to go for a mineral sunscreen, I would go for the mineral sunscreen by the Inculist, which is really good, high protection, beautifully formulated and moisturizing as well as um, being a fantastic SPF. Only problem is it's mineral. It is going to leave you ashy if you're darker than me. So just bear that in mind. Um, and I would probably gravitate if you've got a darker skin tone to a chemical sunscreen. The Unseen Sunscreen by Goop is fantastic. They're my preferences. So overall, what do I think? Well, I was... I get why Rihanna's promoting her skincare line, which is fantastic. And it's a great skincare line. I think I've done the products justice and given them a fair hearing. I would have liked to have seen her use this, not just as an opportunity to promote the products as to show how amazing they are and how to apply them, but also as a way of actually doing a complete skincare routine. Rihanna's in her thirties. So as a bare minimum, should also have a retinol in her skincare. That is gonna help keep the um, collagen up in the skin. It's gonna help resurface the skin, prevent any, uh, reverse some of the signs of sun damage which you can get everybody does even rihanna with her gorgeous complexion will have some element of sun damage and retinol can help reverse those signs of sun aging so i just think it's a fantastic product to have at any age but in your mid-30s like rihanna definitely definitely need a retinol and um, you might not want to go in her line is very much people new to skincare so you don't want to go in with a full strength powerhouse retinol i understand that so go for something that's a bit more gentle i would probably recommend the um, retinol reface by indeed labs that's keeping with the cruelty free which obviously rihanna is passionate about which i love and um, is also fragrance free and colorant free which is fantastic if you're a little bit sensitive this has a mixture of retinol low strength retinol and bakuchiol which is mimics the um, effects you get from retinol but without any of the side effects i did a whole video on bakuchiol i'll link it up there if you want to check it out that's a really really good product I love Indeed Labs because they're just really well thought through, well formulated, beautiful Canadian brand, but available worldwide. I'll link to the retinol resurface below if you want to explore it a bit more because it's a fantastic product. And I think a bit of an unsung hero in the retinol game, perfect for people new to retinol and that might be a little bit scared of some of the side effects you can get. That's a really good option. So I'd fully recommend that. So she's missing that. I also think maybe she could benefit from some um, other things. She could put an antioxidant in there if she wanted, but nothing really major. If you're keeping it simple and trying to introduce people to skincare, which I think Rihanna is, I think it's really just the retinol, which I would have expected in her mid thirties to have applied. That's all that's missing. Otherwise, I think she'll, I mean, she's got gorgeous skin. So whatever she's doing, she's doing it right anyway. And I think the products she's brought to us are really good. What I want to see is what's next from Fenty Skin. So what's the next product she's going to bring out? Because I think she's brought out the three obvious products and done them well. What's the next stage? That's what I'd like to know. What do you want to, leave me a comment below. What would you want to see from Fenty Skin next? Leave me a comment below. And what do you think overall to these products? Let me know, leave a comment. Hopefully, if you've enjoyed this video, you'll give this a big thumbs up. I love filming these. I love to see what other people do with their skincare. I love the fact that she's anti-makeup wipes and just says you don't need them. She's so sustainable and environmentally conscious, which is great, but also lives it. A lot of celebrities talk, but do they live it? She does. She's not using cotton rounds. She's not using makeup wipes. I love that. The packaging has sustainability attached to it, which is great, recyclable and reusable. And you can, with the SPF, actually buy a refillable cartridge, which I think is a great option. Leave me a comment below, guys. Let me know what you think. Wherever in the world you are, guys, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.